Good morning, finally here, tournament morning. Excited, this is probably my number one tournament I look forward to every single year, the Minnesota Bass Nation TLC, and it's finally here. Three day event this year, if you make the cut, top 25. So today is day one. Fishing with Mark from Sportsman's Bassmasters this morning. He's pretty excited. Optimistic that we're gonna go out and catch him today and have a good day. So we're, uh, expect to catch quite a few fish, but you know, we gotta find the quality ones and I think we need to get in that like, I don't know, as, as a boater for five fish, gotta probably get up closer to 13, 14 pounds to be where I wanna be. Hopefully Mark can get three for maybe like eight pounds eight would pounds. be probably a good mark today for, for co-anglers, but we'll see. We're gonna have beautiful weather this week. Lake Lahomedew chain, Alexandria, Minnesota. I think we have 90 some boats in the field, but uh, it's almost time to take off here. So get ready for the ride and let's go catch them. Spot one. I'm gonna try some top water this morning. Don't worry about it. Small. <laughs> Number one, but he ain't much. You got yours or you need help? Doubled up to start the morning. <laughs> Keepers. I don't think you need, if you want to bump it, it's there, but I, it looks 12 to me. But need to be bigger, but we'll start. <laughs> Smaller. A little better one. There you go. Number two for Mark. Two, DT6, not quite what we need, but good one. Spot change. Take advantage of this low light, get some active fish. Oh. 
I only want hooked up on the plopper. That's all big is. Decent one. Number three. One finally ate it like he's supposed to. Throw your jig worm down there. Or you don't have it, sorry. I thought it was in your hand. Yeah. But if you want, you can throw in there. Drop it down next to the boat. I, I mean, he was a keeper, but he wasn't anything special. Baby. So the Willie P's almost as big as he is. Follow, but I don't think he's very big. I think this, I don't think this one's that big. I'll swing him. Probably keep her, but that's about it. I know that, but number four. They're starting to eat it. Yeah. Right. right behind you with this line well in. Plopper or pike earlier. It's the only reasonable explanation. Quite what we're looking for. Oh, you little. Trying to get me. Little ones. That one? Yep. Good one? Uh, I don't know. I missed it. I looked over at that and all of a sudden I had one. Uh, you got him? Yeah, got him. Uh, it's a keeper. He might get rid of that first one you got. A little bit of a cull. This one is smaller than the Whopper Plopper. Just need to get the bigger ones to hit it with this accuracy.
I mean big. <laughs> After this quick conversation with Barry and Ernie, I had 16 pounds at like 9 something in the morning. This was a wake up moment, like I better get my S together and get on some better fish. 10.30 update, over halfway. We got five and three, but uh, not the right one, so time to make some moves. Most of my good bites in practice came shallow, so it was time to pick up a jig and a beaver and work the shallows, looking for some better bites. Pretty skinny. Whoa, I don't think that's gonna help though. I don't think that's gonna help though. That long skinny one's bigger than that. Still not quite where we need to be. This fish wasn't particularly big, I don't think. but I was flipping some grass with the beaver and it ran it down as I swam it back to the boat. And so I slowed down and started picking apart these mats and that was pretty key. Finally, that's a new one. I've got one that's maybe peeking. 
It's a high two. Flipping some grass. The beef. Okay. I don't know if it'll help. Maybe 12:30. We got about three hours to go. Two pounder going back. I got about 11 and change, uh, but all two plus pounders now. One that's two and three quarters. So hopefully we can get a couple of bigs and get a decent bag going. Yeah. Maybe like we can just circle back real quick. Maybe when I cut through the reeds, like your chatterbait, like grabbed it. Yeah, if you yeah. wouldn't mind. I mean, do a quick we'll mind. do a quick pass, and then if not, maybe we can look afterwards. This is important for you, so like I said, don't. Got your rods. And a subscriber for life. <laughs> Ooh, and another fish. Thank <laughs> you. 
eat that frog, but he ain't big enough. Go see what they weigh. I feel like they look smaller when I bag them up. Let's do it. Fish actually weighed a little more than I thought. I thought I only had 12 pounds. They weighed five fish, 1337. Mark's three fish limit weighed like five and a half pounds. So I don't know where exactly that puts me. There was a lot of 10, 11 pound bags, but there were some 14, 15, 17, 19 pound bags. We're definitely a ways back from the leader, but I don't know if we're kind of in the mix or not in the mix for the top 25 cut. Caught them a lot of different ways. Flipping, jigs, beavers, offshore, ploppers. Really mix it up today. We really had to grind hard to catch the 13 half pounds we did. Hopefully that has us sitting all right. If you want to watch the practice video from this tournament to see how I got where I got today, make sure you check out the video on the screen right here.